What's good everybody, the voice of the WGC back in the building. Now, a lot of us have been waiting patiently for an AEW Fight Forever update. Who knows, it may be coming soon. But, like we always say, don't get your hopes up. We do got some news though. Anthony Bowens doing a Q&A. Somebody ask. Any update on the Acclaim being in AEW Fight Forever? Because come on now. Everybody loves the acclaimed. What does AW stand for? Acclaimed every Wednesday. Come on now. Yo. Listen. Come on now, boy. Come on now. You know you love the acclaimed. Quit lying. So then, Bowens responds and he says, We just did the voice effects for it. I had bits of Platinum Max Caster doing his, and I was laughing so hard I nearly passed out. I'll post it after everything drops. Hmm. So basically, he's signaling that he went into the studio and he recorded his voice effects and everything that he had to do for AW5 Forever, which means he will... He and his tag team partner, Max Caster, who make up the acclaim, will both be in the game. But the question is, when? Because like I said, this is good news. This is actually great news, not good news. I know a lot of us have been asking for the acclaim to be in Fight Forever. We thought that they should have been a part of the day one roster. You know what I'm saying? They should have been on it on launch. I'm shocked, actually. A lot of people missed out, but I'm happy that they're actually bringing these individuals to the studio and in the future they will be in the game. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. But like I said, the question is when? Because once again, this is not the time to stall. We're approaching the fall. We got these heavy hitters coming out. Like I said, even if these games not be these some of these games may not be the best games. They're just yearly releases that are carbon copies of its previous title. I understand that. But they're still popular games. They still have large audiences. And people are not about to drop these games for AW5 Forever at its current state. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. We're talking about Spider Man. We talking about Lies of P. We talking about Mortal Kombat 1. We talking about Forza Motorsport 8. We talking about Madden, FIFA, Call of Duty, NBA 2K. People are not about to drop these games for AW5 Forever at its current state, so it's best that we get an update very soon. So like I said, this is good news, but we have no roadmap. We have no key dates. We simply don't know anything. Is it going to be in a week? Is it going to be in a couple weeks? Is it going to be a few months? How long is it going to take for the next update? And we're hearing a lot of stuff. We're hearing a lot of stuff floating around in the WGC. Oh, you're in you're a WWE fanboy. Stop hating on AW Fight Forever. Oh my god, get better at the game. Man, 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 man. Oh, stop crying, stop complaining. Oh, give it time, give it time, give it time. My god. There is no time to wait. Do you not see what the fuck is going on? Every time I check this chart, it gets lower and lower and lower and lower. There is no time to waste, okay? Stop telling me. Stop telling Kenny Bomb. Stop telling Mr. Havoc. Stop telling all these content creators to settle down. This is not the time to settle down. We got to get these updates out. We got to get these updates pushing. I'm not saying this for the sake of just us. 
I'm saying this for the sake of everybody, especially the casual gamers, because the casual gamers are the ones you really want to be locked in. Because if you can't keep the casual gamers, you're definitely not keeping the hardcore ones. Because casual gamers will cling on to anything. If you can't keep them, if you can't keep them, if you can't even get them to bat an eye at your game, something's up, all right? Something's up. We need an update. And we need it ASAP. Like I said, I understand things take time. But this game dropped on June 29th. It's officially been one month with zero updates. The only update that we received is crash updates. But what about gameplay fixes? What about gameplay balancing? What about the addition of brand new content? What about getting information about our season pass? We potentially, as of, as of right now, as of right now, we paid $71.99 for a, for a tech demo. As of right now, we paid $71 for a tech demo until we get more updates. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. You can sit here and you can call us whatever you want. But one thing you will never be able to label us is a fanboy. Because we call 2K out for their bullshit and we call AW out for their bullshit. Okay? I'm not about to give I'm about to I'm not about to give 2K no leeway and I'm not about to give AW no leeway. We need an update ASAP. Because like I said, when these games come out, I didn't even mention Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That game comes out next week. It's on all platforms and it's also crossplay. It's also free on Game Pass. So they already got a one up on y'all. One of the most beloved horror franchises of all time now has a video game. And I played the beta. It is a great game. I loved it. It needs some fixing, but I loved what I played. I loved it. And I will certainly be on the I will certainly be on the full release game once it drops next week. Like I said, I haven't installed AW Fight Forever. There's still some hope. But I am not everybody else in this community. I don't make up for everybody else in this community. A lot of people could feel a whole different way about your game. It's time, man. It's time. We, The clock is ticking, man. The clock is ticking. Y'all are going to see what we're talking about very soon if they don't drop an update. Like I said, the game is not dead. Oh, no, no. The game is not dead, but we are slowly, slowly watching it die in real time. That's what I'll say. It's not dead yet, but we are slowly watching it die in real time. We need some updates. And the key date going around for these updates and everything is August 11th. The THQ showcase, but let's do some let's do some digging, cause you know we like to go in depth here at Unsanctioned TV. We like to keep it real. Let's do some digging. If you go back to the 2022 showcase, this was just last year, mind you. This was just last year. This is their showcase last year. Tell me when you spot AW Fight Forever. Tell me when you spot AW Fight Forever. Tell me when. I'm going to keep scrolling. Tell me when you spot AW Fight Forever. Do you see it yet? Do you see it yet? Tell me when you spot AW Fight Forever. Do you see it? Because I don't see it. So that kind of has me scratching my head and curious if AW Fight Forever is actually going to even be showcased at this THQ showcase on the 11th. You know, the most common thing, the best marketing strategy strategy to do is to show off Stadium Stampede at this showcase. Hey, we put 2K on game. We put AW game. I'm putting y'all on game, THQ. I know somebody out there is lurking. I know somebody out there is watching Unsanctioned TV. So I'm about to give you the blueprint 
on how to approach this showcase. You come up to the stage and you showcase gameplay of Stadium Stampede. You you take a you take a big pause after everybody's going like oh and clapping and stuff, and you say and Stadium Stampede is available now. And then you say, but wait. And you drop a big ass patch with it doesn't have to be everything, but let it be at least most of the things we've been asking for. Because like I said, the gameplay is great. We asked for a wrestling game with great gameplay, and I w I'm going to keep it real. 2K may have community creations. 2K may have better graphics, better, a better art style, whatever. But when it comes to, if we're just talking about gameplay, you strip universe mode, you strip community creations, you strip away everything. You strip away everything, and it's just gameplay versus gameplay. AW Fight Forever takes the cake. AW Fight Forever takes the cake. The gameplay on AW Fight Forever is light years ahead of WWE 2K. It actually feels like you're in a legit wrestling match. All you have to do is balance is balance the gameplay, add more content, like you know, wrestlers, more match types, and all that. Update the creation suite. And there you have it. Oh, I forgot about lobbies and crossplays. But yeah, that's all you got to do, man. That's literally all you have to do. The gameplay is great. I absolutely love the gameplay. I knew it from day one. I've been saying this from day one. The gameplay was going to be great. And that it is. The only thing you have to do, balance out the gameplay, release more content more frequently, give us lobbies and crossplay because, like I said, you see the charts. You see the charts. Come on now. Give us crossplay, give us lobbies, and yeah. You got yourself a hell of a fucking wrestling game right there. Hell of a fucking wrestling game. I want this game to be what it was supposed to be initially. An alternative to WWE 2K. I don't want this game to sit on the shelf and continue to collect dust. I don't want that. I don't want that. So please... I know you're listening, THQ. I know somebody out there on the AEW Fight Forever team loves watching our videos. Please, drop an update before we get to these fall releases. Because it is going to get ugly. I'm not saying that to be negative. I'm not saying that to be mean. But I'm just letting you know in advance. If we do not get an update before all these releases, it is going to get ugly. All right? So yeah, we got the showcase last year, AW5 Forever was not there, but guess who was there? Evil Uno, which is crazy. So Evil Uno was there, but AW5 Forever wasn't showcased, interesting. But hey, we'll see. We will see. We will see. But anyways, that about wraps it up for the video. Y'all think we getting an update? <laughs> like I said, unless it comes from ZD's, I advise you. Because we've been going down this road for too long. We've been going down this road for too long. Let's pump the brakes a little bit. If, it's, if it does not come from ZD's or the official AW Games page, let's pump the brakes. I'm not believing any, I'm not believing that we're going to receive an update until we actually get it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't want to get my hopes up just to be disappointed, bro. But yeah, we'll see what's up. But anyway, that about wraps it up for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share.
Come on now. Road to 700. Road to 700. Come on now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And we out here. One love. God bless you in the next one. Peace.